Hello and welcome to this presentation of Excel to Sage. My name is Aura Marcherosian and I'm going to show you how you can use Excel to Sage to import nominal ledger journals and budgets. So how could you use these imports? Well, you can use them to create new journals, for example to correct mispostings, or you can use it for recurring journals, things like finance leases or payroll costs. You can also use it to create or update existing budgets, for example your 2011 budget. So let's have a look at these in action. So this is the Excel spreadsheet uh, which then allows us to have lookups on the nominal codes, it allows us to have multiple currencies, and it also allows us to put a G uh, nominal ledger journal uh, reference on there. In this particular case it's one reference, one journal, but I could have multiple journals. So let's uh, create a new one. So I'm going to change 73 to 74. And I'll replace them all. So then now transfer this to the server and that's it. Done. Now Excel to Sage allows me to do different types of imports. In this particular case we're looking at normal imports but we have the ability to do sales ledger imports, purchase ledger imports, cash book, inventory control, sales order processing, purchase order processing, pretty much most things that you can do with Sage 500 depending on which version you have. But so now that I've got the spreadsheet let's just uh, import the journal and that's it it's done. So I can now just go and complete the task by creating a journal. I'll do a browse Go and find the one that I just imported, which is 74, and there it is. Accept it. Debits and credits are the same. I've got the currencies, I've got the descriptions. I can then just escape out of that and post it immediately. And that's it. It's that quick. So that's the normal ledger journal import done. Let's have a look at the budgets. Budgets are even easier. So this is the last time I imported the budgets. They're sitting there at a thousand pounds. If I went to the budget inquiry for 2011, for the first code, you can see that's all a thousand pounds. So let's go and change the budget and update it from a thousand pounds to two thousand pounds. I'll save that, and then I'll just go back into Sage and I'll just import my budgets. There it is. That's about 60 budgets just imported. If I go and review that, there you go. You can see all the budgets are now £2,000. Nice and simple. So that was the budget spreadsheet, and that was the Excel import spreadsheet showing the reference, description, code, date currency and amount. Very simple. And down here are the tabs for all our other imports. Well I hope you'll agree that using Excel to Sage it's very easy, it's very quick and cost effective. The Excel spreadsheet can be created anywhere and just emailed to the accounts department for import purposes. You can have user-defined validation lists, and it uses server-based pricing, which is a lot more competitive than uh, uh, desktop pricing, where it's based on user by PC. Thank you very much for your interest, and please feel free to contact us to discuss your import requirements. Thank you.